and my wife Hannah and I are here at Dr. Nazami's office in Newport Beach. And uh, many months ago, my wife was diagnosed with breast cancer. And we were fortunate through a business associate of mine to uh, meet Dr. Nazami and uh, Hannah started treatments. And uh, so I'm going to pass the video over to Hannah and she can explain to you, you know, the journey that we've gone through uh, the last several months. Hi, my name is Hannah and I was diagnosed with breast cancer on July 22, 2015. Um, and right away I was in chemo in August and I did 12 rounds of abraxane and um, right after I did a scan had remarkable results we were really thrilled and I think now fortunately I opted to wait for surgery I was scheduled in December to do surgery I didn't want to do surgery in the middle of the holidays and I think my gut instinct knew I needed to wait I just I didn't want to I didn't it wasn't comfortable so we insisted on doing a hormone therapy for three months did a scan and unfortunately um, activity was shown like I guess it wasn't working I was devastated and if you asked me then you know I, I, I didn't know about integrative I didn't know about Dr. Nazami but now I understand why the scan showed up the way it did. Um, my oncologist suggested that I go and take Zolota. These are these chemo pills that I take twice a day. And that instant, I, was, I wasn't comfortable. I knew that there was something else. I was at her office and my gut instinct said no. I wasn't gonna be part of this cycle. You know, I, I didn't wanna, continue on this medication and then they would tell me it doesn't work and they put me on another one I just knew it wasn't right um so for like a week you know I was I was on a search I was googling I was youtubing I I was just watching all sorts of videos on natural remedies and I think God answered our prayers because right away we were led to Dr. Nazami and um, the second we walked in, um, it just felt comfortable. It was right. There was something about him that I trusted like instantly. His, you know, th these technical things that he said made sense. And, um, you know, I can't go with these big words, but they just made sense. And he described chemo like, you know, chemo kills all these cancer cells, but leaves the stem cell. And what happens is, I guess, when the stem cell makes more daughter cells, they're more aggressive. And it, you know, when he explained that to us, I was like, yeah, that's what happened to me. And so it was just right to be here. Um, I started on a 10 day treatment. Um, first day of treatment was awesome. You know, it felt like nothing. I was just getting these pure plant based treatment in me. I wasn't scared. Um, I just knew it, it, it's going to work. Um, my color started to come back after the second day of treatment. Um, I started turning orange and I think it was from chemo. And so after the second day, my husband and I noticed like, wow, my color is getting better. My energy got better. Uh, my appetite got better. Um, just I think even my hair started to grow even faster. Um, I think it was like the third day I woke up and I'm like, I asked my husband, like, my hair, it's grown a lot faster. So, and um, Dr. Nazami does this really high tech, extensive blood testing, and I just found out so much information that no oncologist. No doctor, conventional doctor, will ever, ever explain to me. Um, I did, I was juicing, I was eating nuts, I was on this vegan diet, and after my blood results came back, they, they, were, they were saying that I should avoid dark leafy greens and nuts, and those were the things I was living off of. So besides, you know, these conventional doctors not really knowing 
what kind of cancer you have and they treat you like you're part of the farm that it's like one size fits all cancer is not one size fits all and you know dr nizami gives me hope well he gave me hope this, the day i met him but now i'm past that i know i'm gonna beat this and if you want to get better if you want to have this lifestyle where it's not ruining you and damaging you you have to come here you know there's there's other treatments out there and you know cancer it's not a death sentence it's just like a wake-up call you know like hey you know there's something wrong let's fix it but there's hope there and there's so many doctors that will help you you know before you decide you know when you get diagnosed and you decide what you should do sit on it for a while like don't act on fear um look around google research and you'll find something else so as far as my treatments you know as far as the side effects uh, my color is back my energy is good um my quality of life is better i'm just i'm a lot happier and Dr. Nizami is really compassionate, very thorough, happy, funny. You know, you don't. I don't walk in here feeling like I'm just part of a number, a file. And you know, at my oncologist, that's what I felt like. It was just, it was like Disneyland. It was just like, you know, us just going in, get your chemo, get out of there, cross your fingers, and hope you're not going to be vomiting at the end of the day. So. You know, what I would, you know, recommend for everybody is that uh, understand that there's hope, that, you know, it's not a death sentence, you'll be okay, but you have to mm -hmm. make the right choice mm -hmm. for yourself, and you come first, and know that there are doctors that will help you, and that you're not a statistic, and his office is great, the people are really wonderful, they're loving and kind and we go in here and I do my treatment I'm sitting on this comfortable leather sofa my husband brings me lunch it's just it's really nice and I, I we drive here from Los Angeles every day and it's not a bad thing it's much better than what any oncologist out there could provide you and you know everyone knows that chemo is bad for you I really regret doing conventional. I, I not only, you know, killed the cancer cells, but I killed my healthy cells. And here, Dr. Nazami is not only treating my cancer, but he's also building up my immune system. Because that's your number one, first line of defense. It's your immune system. And I'm happy here. And the vibe here is great. It's, and what I like a lot about him is that he's spiritual. And we all know that this is being diagnosed with cancer. It is going to take you on a spiritual journey. Um, so why not be around people that are in, in it, that understand you, that you're not just a file, and you're going to be okay. We're going to be okay.